Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at five of the best Shopify page builders for your Shopify store. Now, in this video, we're going to be going through five of the best different page builders that all have direct integrations with Shopify and are available on the Shopify app store. So you can trust that it will work seamlessly for the installation process of these different page builders on your Shopify store. Now, before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the list. We're getting the five best page builders for Shopify. Now, when it comes to the different page builders for your Shopify store, a lot of these can be landing pages, just product pages, different types of conversion focus pages. There's really a lot of different types of applications for these. So taking a look here without further ado, at the first spot, we have PageFly. Now, if you do want to check out or follow along with any of the different page builders uh, mentioned here in today's video, you can go and check out those links linked down below in the video description. I will have links to all the different landing page builders here in this video. So you can go ahead and feel free to uh, follow along or check them out for yourselves as well if you're interested in any of them. So at the number one spot here, we have PageFly landing page builder. Now I've talked about PageFly uh, for a long time. They've actually been around the block for quite a while. They are one of the OG page builders when it comes to Shopify and they allow you to build out some custom storefront integrations so you can really build out your Shopify store in a much more customized manner than maybe some of the traditional Shopify themes or just the regular online store setup that Shopify provides to you. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. They also have a lot more templates that are just really easy to use and that's why I do like PageFly as well um, as for a Shopify page builder. Now if we just quickly take a look here, uh, they, now they do have free and paid versions for pretty much all these different page builders here in this video as well. Now one thing you'll find common as far as the pricing, now again this pricing is subject to change depending on when you're watching this video, pricing may be different for any of these different page builders here in this video, uh, but PageFly does have a free version that you can download. Uh, and install, which does have a single published slot, which is essentially equal to one page or a section. Uh, and you can then still get all the app features, the theme section and support, live chat support. Uh, but you only get the one published slot. If you are going to have more published slots, uh, you will have to pay for their premium version, but that's pretty much going to be uh, very similar for really all of the different page builders. It's a very similar pricing structure. Uh, I would maybe test them all out for yourself, see which one you like the most. Uh, uh, and, and then go from there or just try whichever one you think might be the best from the get-go. Uh, as you can see with PageFly, you can revamp your store with their drag and drop editor. Uh, as you can see here, they have different like Black Friday, Cyber Monday type setup here just for different sales uh, and things that you would see. As you can see here, this image banner is sort of like what the standard Shopify store would look like. Uh, whereas with their offers, you can get like a little bit more custom. Uh, you can really click and drag a lot more uh, than what you would be able to do with the standard Shopify editor. You can really um, get into the elements and configure things a lot more. Um, it, you know, if you've played around with the regular Shopify editor, it is a little bit more rigid in terms of the types of sections you can add. Now, one of the nice things about PageFly as well is that you don't necessarily have to completely redesign your entire site. Uh, you can also just add specific PageFly sections uh, that are effortless and, and easily add to your th your 2.0 theme uh, without affecting the theme assets, which can be really beneficial if maybe you already have a, a pretty good theme going uh, on your Shopify store and you're pretty happy with it, but you want a couple more additional elements. Uh, PageFly can be that additional section that can really like take your store up to the next level, especially on your homepage where it's going to be more conversion focused and you're going to want to drive more sales, maybe to certain categories or things like that. As you can see here in this example, uh, the PageFly section you can add in and kind of just complement your current theme, which is something else I do like about PageFly as well. You can also add countdowns, Google Maps, uh, options, uh, and this also also does work with a lot of other apps as well. If you have other app integrations, you can also uh, quickly edit the color schemes and swatches uh, a little bit more. Uh, than what the global styling would be with Shopify traditionally. Uh, and you can also edit this on different devices. So you have desktop, mobile, uh, and tablet in different views. Uh, you optimize for page speed and you can still customize, uh, contact their support as well. Uh, so a lot of customizations here. Again, that's that number one spot is PageFly Landing Page Builder. Again, links are linked down below in the video description if you do want to check out PageFly uh, for your Shopify store. Moving in at number two, we have eComposer 
uh, landing page builder. So this is another one that's built for Shopify as well. Again, all the different apps here are available directly on the Shopify app store. And all you have to do to install them is just click this black button here. Just make sure you are signed into your Shopify store, uh, which they should prompt you as well on the app store. So you can easily click and install it. Uh, they do also have a demo store here with eComposer. If we take a quick look at that demo store, just to kind of show you like what it sort of looks like is you have a lot of different uh, homepage templates, designs, things like that. If we click here on this one, uh, now some of these are just a variety of different types of designs here. Uh, so a lot more than what you would traditionally see with Shopify. As you can see, there's lots of nice little icons and things like that. Uh, I do like the way that this kind of looks here. Uh, with the, this page builder, you can also add in more simple email signups, uh, things that you just maybe don't have as easily able to do with the regular Shopify uh, page builder so uh, or template and themes. So it does just make things a little bit easier if you're going with something like eComposer as well. Uh, if we close out of the different demos here, looking at eComposer, uh, if we take a look at the pricing, they do have a free version, although it is basically the same as PageFly in terms of the pricing there. Uh, once you go over that first free one uh, and saving the different sections or page layouts, then you have to go to their standard pro or premium, uh, which does break down into different monthly pricing. So a lot of these are paid, but at the end of the day, like if you are serious about trying to improve your store, it does make sense to, you know, at least test it out the free version, give it a try. Maybe just do that for your homepage. And then if you want to upgrade, you can always do that in the future. Uh, but you're also able to, you know, build out specific landing pages, collection pages, blog pages, product pages, uh, lots and lots of templates. Uh, as you can see here, they also have their live editor, which is also drag and drop. Now, in my opinion, this kind of reminds me almost more of some of the traditionally WordPress things like Elementor. Uh, if you're familiar with WordPress uh, web design, it's kind of similar in terms of the way that the drag and drop is set up here. Uh, but it, you can easily utilize uh, different layouts and templates and you're free to combine the different templates that they have built out for your own Shopify store uh, as well, which is really nice. So you can kind of like drag and drop whatever you like from the eComposer library and add it to your Shopify store. Moving on next in this list, we have section store theme sections. Now this is a little bit different from the other uh, page builders here because this is really focused around specifically sections uh, and adding specific sections to your Shopify store compared to, you know, adding just the like a brand new theme or a specific built out uh, custom page to your Shopify store. Uh, this kind of goes hand in hand with the sort of page fly, how they have the specific uh, sections you can add. The section store uh, allows you to design, you know, more sections in your Shopify store. As you can see, your Shopify themes usually comes with about 15 sections. Uh, if you don't like those sections, you need something extra, uh, then Shopify store uh, section store is a full section library of plug and play customizable sections that you can simply add to your theme and customize in the theme editor. Uh, so this it makes it a lot easier to go in and add any type of section that you like from their library to any type of Shopify theme. As, again, as long as it's on the Shopify store 2.0 setup, uh, you'll be good to go. And you can add these in to a regular Shopify page. So as you can see, this is not a traditional page builder. Uh, this is a lot easier than there's no like whole learning curve in terms of how the UI works works and moves around. Uh, if you just need specific sections, this could be a lot easier for you. Maybe if you're less tech savvy, then the section store might be the better option for you uh, in the long run, just because you're just adding the sections. If you just need to spruce up your store a little bit with a few different types of section designs, then this might be a better route than going for an entire new landing page builder or something for your store, which can be a little bit more to learn. Uh, you know, that's eComposer's a little bit more to learn. Even PageFly to a certain extent, if you're not using just the sections, uh, if you're using the whole entire drag and drop builder, uh, I get that it can be a little bit much sometimes. If you're not necessarily just using the sections, you might want to use this. And the nice thing is it is completely free to install. They do have some free sections as well as some one-time charge premium sections, um, but there's no recurring payments. So it it is probably the cheapest option uh, is to go with something like section store. 
uh, if you are looking to save some money and maybe just play around with some extra free sections to your store uh, that might spruce things up a little bit uh, and give you a little bit more of that page builder feel without having to pay for a more expensive page builder uh, that you really don't necessarily need. Again, if you are trying to be more on a budget with your Shopify store as well. Moving in at number four, we have Bay or BA Landing Page Builder. So this is a uh, more designed, more premium type page builder in my opinion. Uh, they do have the ability to edit uh, home pages, landing pages, product pages. Uh, if you see here, they do have a grid structure that you can build out. They do have a lot of premium templates as well as um, global th theme colors, headings, uh, you know, mobile design and sales boosters as well. So you can kind of like add countdown timers and things like that. Uh, so it is nice that that's all in one app here, as you can see. And in terms of the pricing, they do have a free version for one published slot. And similar to a lot of the others, then you go up to like the 10 and you keep going up in pricing uh, if you do want more published slots. Uh, they do also work with uh, quite a few other different Shopify apps, especially Judge.me, which is really good for reviews. Um, they do have a lot of different conversion rate optimization based templates that can help you in terms of improving your overall site design as well as site speed as well. Uh, so this could be another good option worth looking into. Again, just moving along through this list here. At the number five spot, last but not least, we have Gem Pages. Now, Gem Pages has also been around the block for quite a while, similar to PageFly. They are one of the OGs in the landing page builder space. Uh, and last but not least, they are still another good option for you in building out your landing pages. Uh, as you can see, they are also a, a full page builder, so you can design things however you want in your Shopify store. Again, a lot more customization. They also allow you to build out high converting sales funnels too, uh, that you can also add through your Shopify store. I would say that gem pages is more conversion rate focused than some of the other page builders in this list that are maybe more just focused around design uh, elements this also does have some conversion elements too to try and help you you know build out those conversion rate optimized templates uh, maybe sort of like a funnel design and things like that you would maybe traditionally see with something like click funnels uh, by comparison to Shopify uh, so this is really nice if you are looking for some additional templates for your store you you do also have a lot of different integrations you can also integrate with uh, and it is a pretty sleek design that you can utilize they do also have an ai feature uh, that you can use to build out certain layouts and designs uh, and again it is con more conversion focused so it is less on the design side of things more conversion focus although not to say that design is not bad at all it is also pretty solid now they can be a little bit more expensive in that regard if you are going to want you know, more of the uh, AI image layouts. Uh, if you do want more of the funnels and sales funnels and post-purchase upsells and things like that, that is a lot more money. If you just want one basic publish page that is going to be free to install to try them out. Uh, but if you do want the unlimited published pages, honestly, even at that 29 a month is pretty good for an unlimited uh, published pages. You are limited on the theme sections and AI image layout, but you do have quite a bit of unlimited for just that 29 a month compared to a lot of the other options here so gem pages can be another good option again they do have a free version if you do want to test them out and they are more conversion focused uh, for the page builder in order to allow you to build out sales funnels with post purchase upsell offers which is something that honestly a lot of the other page builders even in this video don't necessarily have the conversion elements you might need even another app for that if that's what you're interested in so guys i hope you found this video helpful again five of the best page builders for shopify again if you don't already have a shopify store Store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandonvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, at that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.